dip or discount cryptocurrency specifically bitcoin has been doing some very peculiar things over the past couple of days and unfortunately it's been sliding a bit lower however does that mean that the markets are going to continue to drop to the downside or is this an opportunity to potentially you know hodl stack your bags and get ready for a market reversal that could be coming fairly soon within most of the major cryptos i'm actually pretty excited to see the way these charts are turning as they've hit some pretty solid support levels which is a key indication of a potential reversal and we could decide to head back up well in today's video we're going to be looking at cryptocurrencies like xrp which is still within its massive bull flag formation we have solana which appears to be trying to trend and potentially break through its bull flag formation here we have ethereum correcting lower to the downside but now rebounding off its daily moving average we have things like bitcoin to go over which is reversing off moving average and the s p which just continues to soar higher and higher and higher so there's a lot of things we do have to go over the past couple of days we've made videos that i highly recommend you guys check out and do not skip over specifically in reference to the past two days uh which was to go over and discuss the bitcoin having that's coming asap in april which is just a couple of months away in reference to bitcoin seeing prices potentially at all-time highs over a hundred thousand dollars xrp following suit as well as the fact that january is statistically just a bearish month for cryptocurrency in February, we actually see the exact opposite. So I'm very excited to go over today's episode. But with all that being said, definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and let's get right into today's episode. So guys, an article dropped by Cointelegraph just a couple of minutes ago was dip or discount crypto community. Crypto community, excuse me, schools us on market moves. The community member said that buying more is a strategy, that it was not a dip, but actually a discount in the markets here, and we are projected to see higher moves. Now, obviously, we know the strategies that come with buying and selling, but there's been a lot of bearish sentiment within the markets recently, and I can understand that. It does take a while for us to slowly and surely switch over from a bearish market you know, viewpoint and standpoint over to potentially a bullish one. There is a, a time, like a length of time where people slowly have to adjust and understand and wake up that we could be entering a possible swing to the upside here. And that really has to do with today with a lot of people referencing that the correction we saw is not a continued bearish movement, but actually one that's needed and necessary in order for prices to head up higher. And you can see within this, uh, article right here it says meanwhile on-chain data shows that bitcoin whales had been buying the dip which means they haven't been preparing to expect to see markets drop lower data from intelligence firm Glassnode shows that entities with a balance of a thousand Bitcoin or more, which is nuts, increased by 3% when the spot Bitcoin ETFs began trading. The behavior shows that whales may be expecting Bitcoin to suppress to surpass, excuse me, its previous high in 2024. Bitcoin hovers above 41k price point at the time of publication, while the total crypto market cap is 1.68 trillion. So there's reference and thought and the possibilities that this might not be a correction and actually a dip in the market or a discount in the market that will continue to pump us higher. And I'm in uh, I'm in strong belief that this is true and that it would be uh, to come. If you guys have watched previous episodes here, specifically the one we made two days ago, it was in reference to the fact that we are expecting to see a Bitcoin halving come right around April. And that price target is expected to be right around, I'd say, thirty five to forty thousand dollars. And that's honestly in agreement. And also that came out in August of twenty twenty three. But that's in agreement with the current price right now, which is at 41K. We're really not that far off. Now, as you guys can see, the current coin market cap reveals markets are up about 2.5%. But we finally, after many, many, many long, hard weeks of consolidation, have lowered ourselves from being overbought, overextended in a fear market, or sorry, a greed market, over to 49, which is neutral. This is actually something we were expecting a couple of days ago here. We said markets are most likely going to pull us back down to a solid level here, which you can see is back to pretty much 50 on the relative strength indicator or 50 on the fear and greed index. I'll show you the RSI in a second here, but this is good news. And this is exciting because this opens doors for movement higher up, which we haven't been able to see in quite some time. But what's also interesting is a lot of these cryptos have been in hibernation mode for a while now. Ethereum here has been in hibernation. For the most part, Bitcoin is as well. BNB, Solana, we have 
Cardano, lots of these major cryptos, Chainlink, Ton, Matic have been, you can see SHIB and Litecoin have been in kind of this hibernative uh, period where prices have pretty much just been stagnant across the board. And it's finally time that they're waking up, coming out of hibernation, and we're going to start to see some movement. Now, over the past couple of days, we've been tracking, well, weekly, we've been tracking some very large uh, bull flag formations here, waiting for us to time the market out, waiting for us to eventually hit bottom support, and then we could see the final switch, that final reversal that we've been expecting. And as you can see on XRP, we have a beautiful uptrend right here, creating a lower high, lower low movement, filling in the gap here. We've had to tweak the charts, the at least the bottom support quite a few times to kind of include the current price because it wasn't as accurate as it could have been. But you can see when we scale out and pay attention to the weekly charts here, you'll actually see a better support level drawn. And you can clearly see where we've had retest and support on this bottom uh, this bottom price floor here and where prices have actually managed to reverse off. So it's exciting to see this come and there's a good chance this could inevitably help us reverse out of it. It's unfortunately that, it's unfortunately that, that excuse me, it's unfortunate that we did break through the moving average here, but it hasn't confirmed closure yet, although it is Friday and we're probably going to experience something like that. But nevertheless, the fact of the matter is we're still in it and we're still in this moving average here. And this is a sign of potential bottom. We're oversold, we're becoming oversold at least on the daily uh, relative strength indicator here, which is a good indication that this is probably the lowest we're going to fall. You can see we've had almost four days now of consolidation off this moving average here, which is a sign that bulls are trying to hold on for dear life. Now, we don't have the opportunity to buy in just yet. I would actually hold off on throwing money in just yet and waiting for more of a confirmation to come through, and then we can take advantage of these movements here. And what I mean by that is to buy in right now, it's too early to tell whether we're going to dump even lower outside of moving average or if we're going to re reverse up and re test price ceiling here. It's really hit or miss and up in the air at this point, but the main focus is these typically play out with reversal here. Now, obviously, as I've said before, you can intra-trade inside these, uh, these fractals or these indicators here. So as a more moderate to aggressive trade, if we start to see prices rally up, we could easily buy in and capitalize on a long up to retest price ceiling. But for those that are conservative, waiting patiently, a break above this yellow band would also indicate a very solid rally. If you've done so in the past, you'd know these breakouts typically are pretty large. There are pretty solid reversals up to here. You can see it's happened numerous times. The last one, we were trading at about, I think it was 39 on the RSI. And once we finished this descending fractal right here of this bull flag, we actually exploded to the upside here. We have then had consolidation down to lower points. And typically it's also met us with reversal rallies. And it's pretty strong. Almost every breakout we've had on XRP has been very aggressive. Nonetheless, it's not a very slow, consolidative movement. It's very aggressive, very quickly here. And that's truly what we're waiting for also on XRP now is to complete this payout, complete this movement, and we should see a quite quite the aggressive run to the upside here. Now, obviously, we're going to take advantage of this trade on BidFi, the number one cryptocurrency leveraging exchange that I like to use here on the channel. As you guys can see, BidFi will allow me to buy long, sell short, leverage trade, create stop losses, take profits, everything you'd want on an exchange is offered on BidFi, which is really cool. So make sure to check them out, which is linked down in the description below. BidFi is also doing some cool signup bonuses. They're they're going to redo another one or drop another one on February 1st. But for the time being, they have a couple of different options right now. You can still earn from signing up over $2,000 in free cryptocurrency with signup bonus rewards here by taking advance advantage of the new user and advanced tasks, which is super cool. And then if you swing on over, they have a demo account. for. So for those that are kind of on edge about trading, you can take advantage of BidFi's demo account with $50,000 in Monopoly money, completely free. Um, it's not shown here because I need to, I guess, re-log in. But you can see here using this demo account, you can trade around, get familiar with the, uh, with the platform, test your trades, test my trades on Patreon, which we have also linked down in the description if you'd like to see my trades. Um, and then you can obviously switch over over to the live account here and get familiar with that and use real cryptocurrency. But moving forward beyond just XRP showing signs of potential breakout here, Solana is seeing a very nice rebound, which is quite exciting as well here. Solana has been a crypto we've been tracking for quite a while now, not only on the four hour, but also on the daily. And it depends on how we want to open this up here. We do have kind of this sort of downtrend here at play, which is kind of how we can leave it here for right now. You can see where we've had multiple retests of price ceiling in the past here. 
consistently rejecting off moving average, and we end up retesting it over and over again. And you can see how we're currently battling it out right now with the moving average on the four hour charts too. So what we're looking for is actually a closure of the daily above this price ceiling here. And if we manage to do that, that will open up doors to buy in and long here. And we're getting very close to doing that as well because we're nowhere near overbought. We're actually coming back up to 50 on the RSI after rebounding quite nicely off support here, which you can see is a very solid one at that, coming right back up to retest a major resistance here. And if we can close above this, Big things are going to come, almost uh, expecting to see a rally of a similar stature here that happened on Solana. This was about a 70% rally. And if we take that same market movement, because you can see the bull flag that's forming here, if we put this on the mouth of the opening here, it could swing us up to $139, which is a pretty substantial run. That's about a 66%, almost 70% reversal rally here. And it's honestly expected. We look very nice right now. It's been a healthy recovery. We've consolidated quite nicely down to here. So really what we're waiting for is closure above yellow resistance for us to buy in and long to the upside here. Now, so that's pretty much it. My main focus is XRP as well as Solana for the time being. But then when you throw in cryptos like Ethereum and Bitcoin, they also show signs that we could have bottomed out, like that bottom is in, and we could expect to see markets continue to reverse. Now, it's interesting because I've started to see quite a few videos come and surface as well as tweets posted on Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it here, that reference potential correction to the downside. And it's honestly hit or miss. Depending on who you look at, it's either we're going to dump or we're going to pump. So what you need to do is take everybody's opinion and form your own and then make an educated decision off of that. You can see we've been using kind of a support for quite some time now, and we did just recently break through it on Ethereum here, which is unfortunate, but we're back down to moving average here. And typically, this is a very solid uh, support level at best here. And there's a chance we could reverse back off of it, which is truly what I'm thinking a lot of these cryptos are going to do. We're undervalued on XRP's daily. We are retesting support, or we did retest support on Solana's daily. Ethereum's currently doing the same thing. And here, moving forward to Bitcoin, you can already see Bitcoin's retested moving average, and it's reversing off of that, coming back to the upside. Even though we were in an ascending broadening wedge, where things get interesting is if I scale ourselves out on Bitcoin here, you can see weekly, we do look like we need to consolidate a bit. I mean, there's a lot going on right now, and we can definitely start to delete quite a lot of these lines as they're almost unnecessary now uh, unless Bitcoin starts to really pull back down to the downside here. But just to clean things up, we're going to delete a few of these lines here. And you can see for the most part, as the prices start to climb back down, as they start to tear off, we need to make a decision. We've slowly and help, you know, we've slowly and surely consolidated here. And this is what we've needed because the last time we were at this level, we were at 83 on the weekly charts, which is screaming overbought here. You could see this first green candle was us at a high of 83 in the RSI. And you can see we're practically at the same price now. And we've lowered ourselves from 83 down to 63, which is giving us more room to eventually reverse off. Now, obviously, we could come back down to retest moving average, even though we've been below it since April. Uh, of 2022 here. There's a chance we could very easily come back down. And at some point we are going to do that. Uh, but there's a chance we could eventually pump higher here. So lots of things are up in the air right now. Even if we jump to Ethereum and scale out, we're also a bit overextended from its moving average, but we don't necessarily need to come down to it just yet. Is it possible? Of course it's possible. But will it happen right now is Kind of the question that's up in the air. So we've been honed in and focused long term or sorry, short term zoomed in on the Ethereum or on these daily charts here. When we scale out, you can actually see we're pretty high up when it comes to the weekly charts here. However, we kind of trade mainly on the daily charts. We're not looking for a long yearly outlook on the Ethereum chart or sorry, on the weekly candles here, which is pretty much a good indication. For right now, we are nearing oversold and undervalued, which is a representation that markets need to swing back to the upside. And that's truly what I believe is going to happen for a lot of these cryptos. A lot of them are retesting their moving averages quite nicely, pretty undervalued, which is a reference to prices swinging back up. Now, in my opinion, I would focus less on Ethereum. I would also focus less on Bitcoin as we don't have enough indication or technical indicators to give us that opportunity to buy in. I'm actually going to delete this. That's not really that necessary. You can just see we're coming back down to test support here. And one would then fathom reversal. I've seen a lot of videos too, short term referencing a downtrend. Like if we got rid of that support or this 
that that resistance right there and we drew something like this this is pretty much what people were using to gauge a breakout if we broke through this downtrend here we'd break to the upside here which is possible i i'm going to exclude it we're retesting moving average on the week, on the 4 hour charts here which is going to cause some turbulence but for the most part i would suspect to see some nice rebounds off these moving averages but my main focus for this week is on XRP and also on Solana. I think those look the best out of all of them. And as for the S&P, yet again, heading higher, I think we need to consolidate some. And then I believe we're gonna head up even more. So uh, very exciting to see the way these cryptos look. You know, definitely make sure to smash the like button though, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.